everyone and welcome to my channel today we are going to be using these very old cheap tapered candles we're going to turn them into a primitive look so it's going to give that old-fashioned look so simple so cost effective it doesn't cost much at all and it's super duper fun so these are the taper candles that I have and then if you remember I got these vintage candles for 50 cents and we're going to use these so it's five of these and I just love the box so I'm actually going to be cutting out the box and saving the label to them first thing we're going to do is we're going to melt some wax you want to melt any kind of wax if you have paraffin wax old wax if you want colored wax you can use that a lovely subscriber gave me some of this beeswax so I am going to be melting some of this beeswax and then we're going to dip our candles into the wax and then roll them into sugar. It's so much fun, so let's get started. Back in the early days, wax was used for all kinds of things, but mostly it was used to seal packages and to let seal letters. This is a wonderful way that you can learn history and it's so much fun as well. Now let's get back into the program. What you're going to do is you're going to melt your wax and then you're going to dip your candles into the wax and then you're going to roll it into cinnamon or you can use it different kinds of herbs or spices or you can also use it with coffee grounds. Now I am going to use these candles to light so I am going to be using cinnamon. Let's go ahead and melt this wax. People ask me about this many times. This is just a rice cooker that I turned it into a wax melter. So the, online you can buy all kinds of expensive wax melters, but I thought I could think outside the box and use something like this. Now, if you are a practical person, you would be asking yourself, well, why would you do all of this? What is the reason behind it? And I want to explain to you that this is called primitive decorating. As you see here with the bowl that I made with all of the spices and all of the amazing potpourri scent, you also will see these candles. So when you go into a primitive store, they are so expensive. It's to make it look very, very old. And a lot of times you can do this for just about pennies, really. These old candles were turning into something that's fun and it looks very old-fashioned so there is no purpose behind this other than to give it that primitive colonial look not only does it give a primitive colonial look if that's what you like it also resets the brain so we're going to talk a little bit about slow living in the hustle and bustle of the world today everything is so done fast people want their food right away people want their money right away, people want to get rich quick, people want all of these things instantly. And what I'm noticing is when you do things at a slower pace, it resets your brain and it actually is very restful and peaceful. Projects like these, anybody can do. And most people have some type of old candle laying around and most people have cinnamon as well. And it's a fun project, not just for children, it's a fun project for adults. And you won't believe what they look like when they're done. With the leftover wax, we're going to make some of these candles. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pour the rest of the beeswax into these All right, everyone, the candles are made, and now we're gonna go ahead and decorate them. So I have some of this ticking. Rip it to give that really old look. Sometimes it's all about presentation. So decorating an item sometimes can make it even look better than the item itself. And that's where 
you think about what could you do to decorate an item that you just made. So right now I'm taking all of the old vintage box that was in real bad shape and I'm going to be making labels with it. The box was not very pretty and I figured instead of throwing the box away, why don't we use it? It is amazing when you look around your house and find these things and make a new purpose for them. Back in the Great Depression, as we all know, people didn't throw anything away. They used things up. And this turned out so amazing. If I would seen this at a high-end shop, they would have wanted quite a few dollars for it. And it was just a pleasure to make it and to show you all how you can have the look that you want without the expense. Hi everybody and welcome to today. It's really cold, damp day. It's a perfect time of the year to make something primitive to turn my home one project at a time into a log cabin. So let's get started. say thank you so much for watching today's video and I can't wait to show again tomorrow what we're working on. <laughs>